Boys, where are you from? What <laughs> university you go to? And uh, just tell us your name. I'm from Pike County, down, Kentucky. Down that way. Uh, there you go. Pike County, Kentucky. Um, I went to Belfry High. Uh, I am currently going to EKU. And what's your major? What are you studying? I am studying biology. Um, I was going to do a dual major of business as well. No, oh, okay. So that'd be pretty neat once you get that degree and all that, won't it? Yeah. Now, boy, I've, uh, somebody told me that you know the big character there, that big old firecracker over here. Yeah, this is it's Firecracker some, Dan. And somebody told you about that. I don't know who told you something about that, but what'd they tell you? Uh, my friend Ethan uh, over there, <laughs> he told me all about Firecracker Dan. Um, told me how uh, you, of course, created this masterpiece. Um, let's see here. He said you had tons of work on it. Uh, it is definitely your biggest uh, pride, from what I can tell. Um, oh man. So what are you going to do? You're going to take all this wording back all the way to Eastern Kentucky University and just share his name with a bunch of folks and maybe share your picture in your video? You better bet. Somebody told me that you and old Dan used to play basketball together. Uh, and he's a dunker. He can dunk it from half court by any row. Yeah, he's he's actually dunked on me a few times. Is that right? Yeah. Did y'all win the championship up there or what? Buddy, if I even had a chance in competing with Firecracker Dan. <laughs> You'd have troubles, wouldn't you? Yeah. I can tell you he used to play on a football team too. And he was stood alone, and he tackled uh, the players from both teams all single-handedly by himself. He tackled every one of them, whether they had the ball or not. Sounds like a, a trooper. He's a trooper, isn't he? Yeah. So that's Firecracker Dan, and uh, what do you think that uh, his travels up in Pikeville are, are many, probably? I think they're pretty impressive, especially to get out that far and to go... So, like you said, you said he got to Missouri? Yeah, he did. He got yeah. to Missouri. He got to South Korea. That's a, that's very impressive. He got over to Ireland. Oh, yes. Awesome. He went to Phoenix, Arizona, just this side of it, and they put him under a cactus for two weeks, showed him outside the hotel. Oh, my God. Now, that's pretty bad to sleep in the cactus patch, wasn't it? Yeah, that's uh, it's definitely not very fun. But uh, he's been to Pennsylvania, I hear. He's been up that way a lot of times. And he's traveled you a few times, hasn't he? So there we go. But yeah, it's good that you would come up from Eastern Kentucky University just to see a big old firecracker. And you never dreamed to this day that you'd see such a firecracker as that one, would you? I couldn't even imagine. <laughs> so what do you think about it once you saw it for the first time? I, honestly, I'm, I'm very impressed. It's very well put together. Now, did you see all the little firecrackers back there on the wall? Yeah. And... Uh, that first in there is Firecracker Dan. The second one is Firecracker Nan, which they don't care about each other at all. And that other one uh, following him, that's the 4th of July, it's Independence Day Firecracker Dan next again. The orange and black is a uh, Halloween pumpkin next again. And uh, the one about the fuse are the red and black one. He's a fuse's firecracker. The one next to him is a firecracker girl. One next to that one is a Halloween tree, and the next one is the, the cat, the Halloween cat. One below that is the turkey for Thanksgiving, and then we got uh, Santa Claus next to him. We got the Christmas tree one, the snowman. We got the reindeer, the peppermint stick, the elf, the Valentine's girl, the coat of many colors, cotton candy, the elf. Then we got Veterans Day. And we yeah, got, uh, looks like we got the Leprechaun, got Abraham Lincoln, Richard Hickman Menifee, and Daniel Boone. And they steal some more, and each one of them's got a cat and a dog, and they got their children that goes with them. So what do you think about that? That's many, many iterations. Very, very I think it's about 28 families of them. Dang. And they're called next to kin. They come out of them big mountains of uh, Pike County and hazard they come from that direction cool. so that's pretty neat so and tell them your name one more time so they remember you my name is donovan 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 thank you for talking to me today and maybe you'll bring some more friends up from uh, eastern Kentucky university 
and they too will get their picture of firecracker down. I will try my best. So thank you very much. You're welcome.